Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create this barrel with rusted texture using procedural materials technique and with slightly deformation. I hope we will achieve something similar to this I created earlier. Ok, this will be looking just like something like 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 this yes nice rusted texture and slightly deformed bar okay the first step i will create a simple bar something like this and then we will create procedural material representing rust something like this and material will look like something like like this i hope okay let's start to create a new scene file open not open don't save cancel new general don't save okay new scene i can delete delete this okay first of all we can create mesh plane we can scale it much okay now maybe in render settings we will uh, set to 512 and 512 okay and we can add shift a mesh cylinder okay uh, we're gonna hide for a moment a plane and in vertices we can set it to 16 radius okay plan radius maybe maybe all point five zero point five oh no maybe zero point seven will be good okay depth maybe this is enough okay 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 tap to edit mode can free to select faces i to inset I okay maybe this is enough okay E to extrude down maybe this much okay and this is too much okay this is it okay first of all we can create some rim, rims in the bar so control r maybe four times that will be enough okay and now we can control b okay maybe three times this is okay maybe enough okay and now select edges press 2 with alt press shift alt shift alt shift alt okay and now we have to choose uh, individual origins and scale a little bit maybe this much okay a little bit okay this is good tab out can preview this okay this we can add also inside some rim Ctrl r here control b 
only two times okay and now extrude but we have to extrude along normals okay okay maybe this much okay tab out now in modifier we can add bevel let's get to zero and a little bit 0 0.01 and in segments i prefer two okay and of course we can check subdiv subdivision surface levels two and we can see how it looks in shader in shading viewport okay right click and shade smooth and it looks pretty pretty nice this is our barrel okay i added earlier the area light you can add area light by shift a light area and uh, in the properties light i will choose some warmer color maybe something like this and maybe power it to 100 okay and our plane i will choose material new material and set it to black or down maybe not near near black okay maybe something like this okay tap into edit mode i press 2 to select edges and extrude along z okay tap out this is our bar okay let's start to add material to our bar new we can open window with shaders okay maybe okay shader shader editor okay and to press to hide menu okay zoom and our material will be uh will consist of two material two principal bsdfs uh, mixed uh, with mixed shader so okay we can shift d to duplicate okay shift a search for mixed shader mix shader okay i will put it here these two shaders okay i will widen a little bit this and we will be we'll see this material in our view shader okay <clears throat> and now i can connect this BSD, BSDF to shader 1 and this BSDF to shader 2 and the shader goes to surface okay and these two these two principal principled BSDFs will be mixed together okay okay now let's start with this first principled BSDF okay shift a search for color ramp color ramp okay shift a search for gradient okay the gradient texture okay we can connect color to factor and this color to our base color okay now you can uh, choose your own colors but I uh, will show you uh, my colors that I used previously in my uh, rust shader. So first color will be black. Second color will be FF7714, okay and the last one will be 
bright yellow so ffb ffb 800 okay and let's put it near himself let me something like this okay and now we don't see anything that was changed if we change this factor to zero we will see these colors yes and we when we change this it will move along x axis okay and here is the same mm. okay but we want to control this gradient texture position so we add uh, texture coordinate and mapping so control t and we have texture coordinate and mapping so now uh, in rotation um, panel we can change it to maybe 19 degrees okay and it will looks better okay so if we move this across our barrel it will change okay it's nice nice effect the same with other colors you can change and move this color okay okay now let's add shift a noise texture noise nice texture okay can also we will be we will need mix rgb okay and we will uh, need value shift a search for value okay okay we can move this on the left maybe here okay we will be mixing noise texture with value to control it so we can connect factor to one and value to color two and color to location okay so now you can see that noise texture was applied to our gradient texture and we will and we will change uh, and if we change scale you can see this also changes um, on our bar okay let's change scale to three detail maybe to eight roughness we can change to almost one distortion let leave as this and now if we will con you can see we can control the position with all the value yes if we change this factor near to zero Okay, we can still control our gradient with noise texture. We can add also control to our noise texture, so control D, mapping and text coordinate, okay. Uh, now in this panel we can change scale maybe to three y also three and c also three okay so first material almost done okay we can put it here put it here okay and we can with value we can control this material on 
z axis okay maybe let's leave it like something like this okay and in mix shader you can see that the factor is almost zero so only this principle because if it is only this uh, material is now visible but if we will change this to maybe 0 0.5 it will be half this and half this okay so let's create things for the second material okay now shift a color ramp shift a gradient okay color to factor color to base color and now here in color ramp I will create five points so we can add we have two and three four five okay and okay we have to set colors so first color of rust will be six c twenty five zero d okay this is the first color second color 9e5200 okay third color ff7220 okay Fourth, fourth color C three four five two seven. Okay. Basically, the last one five five D one B one three. Okay. This is the last color okay and if we now will change this mix shader to one you can see that also we have to set text coordinates and mapping so let's do that uh, choose this panel and control T for mapping and on location maybe rotation y we'll set it to 19 degrees okay and now we can see something change okay so we have to set it properly okay maybe a little bit closer to each one maybe this this close this and this maybe okay and maybe maybe here okay okay in this section we will be mixing two textures noise texture and Voronoi texture so shift a search for noise texture and shift a search for Voronoi Voronoi texture okay uh, let's put it maybe here okay shift a search for mix rgb okay you can set mix to value Okay, shift D to copy it. Okay, 
now we can connect factor to color 1 and color to color 2 okay this we will connect to our color 1 and we can search for value value okay and this value will connect to color 2 okay this two texture Verona and noise texture will be mixing together and then in color one they will meet in color one and value will control in color two and this mix we will connect to our location okay and now you can see something showed so if we move it can see changing okay maybe let's hit it let's leave it now and uh, now we can change this value to almost zero yes can change this position maybe here okay and now we can uh, change scale in noise texture to 3 detail maybe to 5.5 okay roughness to 1 because we want to be very rough like rust distortion we can leave it as it is and now in Voronite texture we can uh, leave it as 3D of course I think then we will change to smooth F1. Okay. And we can change this distance to Chebyshev. Okay. We can set the scale to 6.5. 6 smoothness, maybe a little less smoothness, maybe this much okay we can see the rust is showing on our barrel okay let's add uh, control distance control texture and mapping texture coordinate to our noise texture control t okay we can change scale maybe to Three here, only of course, to three and Z to three. Okay, so we have nice rust texture. Okay, and with this panel value, we can control position of this texture this is nice okay as you can see this belongs to our second PSDF material and this top material is here and now we can only see the below material because we change this factor to one if we change it to maybe 0 0.5 it will show up okay as you can see the mixed shader will show uh, half on half or uh, just one top or bottom top or bottom okay so leave it maybe like this maybe like this okay now if when we will control this value we can control the position maybe leave it here 
we can control the position of second and top material. So maybe we'll put it a little bit higher. Maybe something like this. Okay. But now this is look this look flat and we want to add some bumps. So shift A search for bump. Connect normal to normal and all we have to do is connect color from color lamp to our height. Okay, so as you can see the bumps showed up. We can change strength to maybe 0 0.5. Okay. And distance also to 0 0.5. Okay. Now in our principal PSD, PSDF material we can put it more metallic. Maybe here, maybe yes, okay. Roughness is okay, specular is okay, so it will look more metallic as a spiral should look. So, okay, we can put it a little bit higher, okay. And we can do this the same with the top material, okay. Shift A for search for bump. Add more def, okay. Connect normal to normal and color ramp to height. And def will show to the second top material, okay, as we can see. But we can also change this strand to zero, maybe 0.5 and distance also to 0 0.5 okay so as you can see we have nice rusted barrel okay let's add maybe some light in uh, inside this barrel okay light uh, point light yes i should I think it will be okay. Point light, okay, okay, and change this color to some warm, maybe reddish color, okay. Maybe put it a little bit lower, maybe like this, something like this, okay. And we have our material almost done but this barrel look looks very 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 clean and very flat the surface surface of this bar so maybe we could add some deformation to it so well, let's let's widen widen this window okay let's change this view to shading report okay tap to tap to edit mode and now we can add some uh, deformation using subdivision so maybe the control r to add some lines maybe here and this one here okay free to select faces and with alt we will select all this in circle and right click to subdivide okay and now we can change this fractal to maybe 0 0.5 not too much and along normals of course number of cuts maybe two is enough we can also change to random seed maybe yeah, this is okay 
so it's about we can see and can see now nice deformations and now we can do it with each of the rest of these uh, faces near these rims okay so tap to edit mode ctrl r to add some lines we want this ctrl r here the same here and here one second line okay and the last the last section control r and control r okay maybe here okay so three for the select faces with alt mm, and the same story subdivide because we did it uh, later we, we did it earlier we have mm, memory of our mm, last action so fractal is to 0 0.5 and we can set random seed to maybe four okay and number of cards to two okay tap out oh yes nice deformations okay and the same with the last three sections tap uh, subdivide okay number of cards two maybe random seed again and the star repeat this action okay now we've got two fractal 0 0.5 okay maybe seven eight and the last one subdivide two and maybe ten okay let's see oh, it looks pretty pretty good okay so in our shading view we can see our barrel now it doesn't look so flat we had some depth some some deformations so it looks really nice okay we can zoom to see our RAS and it looks pretty pretty nice for a quick tutorial how to make RAS of course we can check our bar and in our first material of course we can set also uh, metallic maybe to more metallic to be more metallic okay roughness maybe more roughness to it more and also more metallic okay and now as you can see we can control this is nice because we can with this value uh, we can control the position of of this texture Okay. okay and the same uh, is with this bottom texture bottom material you also can control it with this value and of course with this vernite texture we can control smoothness of this And other param parameters like scale and you can experiment with these settings if you like but i will leave it as it is now and as we can see this is pretty nice rusted pretty nice rusted barrel in this quick 
tutorial. So I hope you like it. And this is it. Thanks and see you in the next tutorial.